Hello, hello, hello. Um, hi, my name is Bobby. This is a channel about cross stitch and my Etsy store, which is Pumpkin Creek Prim. My company name is Pumpkin Creek Primitives. And uh, yeah, so talk a little bit about me, a little bit about cross stitching and some about the shop. Um, it has, this is going to be a little different because I immediately forgot my whips. <laughs> so they're downstairs. Um, and I'll probably will have to film this in two parts anyways. Um, because I was trying to get, I'm filming this much earlier than normal because me and my husband have somewhere to be at 11. And that's normally when I start filming is around 11 or noon. So it is currently 8.30 in the morning, so, yeah. You don't have anything on your calendar for this morning. Just tell me if you'd like me to create it. No, thanks. <laughs> okay, I won't create the event. <laughs> so, yeah, Bushy Watch talking to me. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, so I switched my camera again because when I have the camera over here, like the lens part of my phone over here, I look over here. So then I'm like, okay, I'll switch it over here. But now I keep finding myself looking here. I ain't never going to get it right. So, sorry. Um, it has been a week from hell. Um, started off, so Tuesday, my dad had his oral surgery where he got, um, a good portion of his teeth, um, removed, the ones that were still there, um, to get fitted for dentures. So he looked terrible Tuesday night. Like his face was just all swollen. I mean, black eye, like, cause you know. Um, he's on blood thinners and he's going to be 88 in February. So, I mean, you know, um, I mean, and I joked with him, I was like, you look like somebody, they stood on your face while they pulled all your teeth. I mean, it looks so bad. Um, but he was like in good spirits and everything. Um, but the problem was <laughs> he wasn't drinking, um, as much fluids that he needed to or eating enough food and my mom wasn't pushing him enough because she didn't want to argue with him so um me and my husband kept telling him like if he doesn't start taking in fluids more he's gonna have to go to the hospital because he's gonna get weak he's gonna get he's gonna need fluids he's gonna get dehydrated so um that was Tuesday we thought everything was gonna go okay and then Wednesday was when, um, I mean, well, I don't know. Wednesday, he still seemed okay, but he needed more. I mean, like, I, we could tell he wasn't, like, eating and doing what he was supposed to be doing. So, then on Wednesday afternoon, mom finds out that she has stage one breast cancer in her left breast. So... I know that that's not the death sentence that it used to be. Um, but let's just add some more stress to my mom who's trying to take care of her husband who's just had surgery and isn't doing great. Um, so she has that stress going on. And of course that stresses all of us. Then Thursday... Um, morning she tried to help my dad get up to go to the bathroom and he had no strength and my mom weighs like a buck oh five and she's like five foot so um, all she could do was help him ease himself to the ground because he couldn't get back in the chair and then they called my husband because I was at work so then my husband had to go over there get my dad up off the floor um, help get him, you know, to the bathroom. And then 
my husband gave them lectures about getting fluids and basically said, if by Friday morning you can't get up by yourself, you're going to the hospital. Sorry. So that was Thursday mid-morning because my husband was supposed to just take my dad because um, mom was supposed to be going to work and he was going to take my dad to the dentist appointment. And well, obviously the dentist appointment was canceled. <laughs> my dad couldn't, couldn't uh, get around at all. Um, and we put parameters on my dad about like, okay, you have to drink this Pedialyte and you have to drink this much by this time, blah, 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 blah. And he didn't do it. He tried, but he just, he, he didn't do it. And mom wasn't being forceful enough and, and I couldn't just stay there the whole time. And I kept trying to tell my mom, I was like, get him a clock and tell him by this time you have to have this much so that he has something he's looking at and a visual, um, but she couldn't find because it's on his phone and timers. I was like, no, he needs something he can just like stare at. And there's no clock anymore now that you have smartphones. <laughs> um, so then Thursday af late afternoon, we get a text from my aunt and uncle who were here at my house for the Thanksgiving um, feast that we had where we all had masks on. Um, obviously, except for eating, which is the same thing that you do in a restaurant. Uh, they tested positive for COVID. So then, I was like, crap. So then I left work to try to go get tested. And um, I have zero symptoms. Sorry, there's a beautiful deer right outside my window and he's distracting me. And that's the cats chasing each other. Um... But I left work and I didn't have symptoms. So there was like only a few places that will let you take a test without an appointment um, to where you don't have symptoms. So I went there and they didn't have any more tests. And they said, come back in the morning. We open at eight. That's first come, first serve. And people get here early. So I told my husband, I said, let's just go together, get it done. So Friday morning, <laughs> we went and um we got there they opened at eight we got there about 7 15 and there was probably already there was 20 people or 19 people ahead of us standing outside so we got in line outside and stood for 45 minutes in the freezing cold and light mist so if i don't end up with some type of cold after this it'll be surprising so then uh they open up we get in we sign in we're test number 20 and 21 so they only have 48 a day so we knew we were good. We sat there for five hours waiting to get tested. And literally it's a rapid test. We weren't back in that room tested and results in less than 15 minutes. Um, both of our results came back negative. Um, so that was really awesome. So it was like one good thing. Um, and then we get home Friday. Well, about the time we ate and got home, then we find out my other uncle that was at our thing tested positive for COVID. So I told my mom, you have to go get tested. Um, and I said, I don't know how we're going to get dad tested because he can't, I mean, can't get around. Um, and so we asked her if he was doing any better. And she said, no, he still can't. He's still weak. He can't get up by himself. And I was like, you just, you have to call the ambulance. He has to go to the hospital and he has to get fluids. It's just going to get worse. And then with everybody testing positive, if he has COVID, I mean, it's going to get even worse. I mean, he's almost 88. Um, and just had all his teeth ripped out. <laughs> so um, she called the ambulance because there's no way that we could have gotten him out of that, out of the house because um, their driveway is like this and it would have been a whole thing. Um so, and even the ambulance drivers <laughs> were concerned about the, the pitch of their driveway. Um, so, they got him loaded, got him to the emergency room that's like, I don't know, three or four miles from my parents' house. It's great. They live right by the fire station, which is where the ambulance is at. Like, you could throw a rock and hit that. And then, just a few miles away is the emergency room. Um, so... They get him to the ER, and then, of course, mom can't be in there. She's in the lobby, and then the, the doctor finally puts her in a separate room and talking to her about what the situation is. 
And they were thinking he needed, oh, sorry. Sorry, it's been a lot. I haven't been sleeping very great. Um, told my mom that um, he needed a blood transfusion. <laughs> my mom just, and then I think my mom stopped listening because she just, that was not what she was expecting. She's like, what? And they were just saying that his hemoglobin was really, really low. So, um, they didn't want to do it there, of course. They want to, because it's just an emergency room and with a few hospital beds, I guess. And they wanted to send him to their in-network hospital, which is in Nashville, which my mother immediately almost had a meltdown because she doesn't drive well in Nashville. Um, she sucks at navigation. And um, I said, so she's like, let me just call my daughter. And the doctor said, well, all right, I'll be back in 15 minutes. Give you a chance to call your daughter. So she calls me and I'm like, quit. For, she basically, she was so exhausted and so tired. She like hasn't even been able to like even take it in herself that she has breast cancer because she's been dealing with him. And it's, she was at that point and I'm sure most of you have kids. I don't have kids, but even I know this. When a toddler is so tired that even if you have need them to put on a jacket, it's too much it's too complicated and it's too overwhelming and they just have like a fit right that's the level she was at so she's almost crying to me thinking about having to drive to nashville and i said mom they will transport him you do not have to take if he needs a blood transfusion they're not gonna let you take him out of the, <laughs> the emergency room and drive him to centennial they will take him um and she's like oh okay I don't know why I'm yawning. Well, I knew it was 8 o'clock in the morning. I want to say 45 now, but. So anyway, they transport my dad. Uh, in the emergency room. Told. So when she called. Once he got settled and everything. Saturday night. And she called up there to check on him. And they weren't thinking that he needed at that the hospital, the bigger hospital, they were not thinking he needed blood quite yet. They weren't ready to give him blood. Um, but he tested negative for COVID, which was amazing. Um, and then, so then I told mom, I was like, well, if me and Chad are negative and dad's negative, you probably don't need to worry about getting tested. Um, unless you start having symptoms or something. So then she calls, um, Oh, no, I guess that was Friday night when he got situated. Sorry. Then she called Saturday morning and um, they tell her he does have COVID. <laughs> and so she's like, crap. And I said, well, you have to go get tested now. Because um, everybody that was sitting at your table, even though they were spaced out and had their mask on, they've all tested positive. So, except for one aunt, which she tested early. And my, my guess is she probably is positive. She just wasn't at that moment. Um, and so mom made an appointment to go get tested at three o'clock that day on Saturday. And then by the afternoon, when she talked to the nurses, they were like, well, we're actually don't think that he has COVID. We're not sure. We'll know more tomorrow. I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't understand why they don't know. Um, but it's a fickled, fickled virus. So, um, so then I told mom, I was like, she's like, well, I already have my appointment. I was like, well, just go ahead and get tested. And so she went and got tested. She's positive for COVID. So now I don't know me and Chad getting negatives, whether we're the ones that actually had it and didn't know because we had zero symptoms. And then we're testing negative now because we're past our window and we were still in the contagious stage or whatever when everybody was at the house or if somebody else brought it into the house and because I did, we didn't associate, like I wasn't on top, like, I don't, I don't know. So today at 11 o'clock, we are going to get the antibody test. Um, the, if you have Kroger's, they're pharmacies have it. It's 25 bucks. Um, you do have to make an appointment. Um, somebody told us you didn't have to, but when I was Googling if they had where you put it in an appointment, so I don't know. So I made this appointment 
Um, and it will, it's supposed to tell you whether you have antibodies. So it will tell you if you've had COVID and apparently at what point you were exposed. I'm not sure how it knows that, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Um, so we're going to go do that because my thought is if we're testing negative, I'd like to know if we at least had had it because I need to tell work that people need to, you know, I could have had it and didn't know it, whatever. So, I don't know. We're just trying to do <laughs> the right thing. Um, but, like, we just got tested Friday morning. So, and I do have an appointment tomorrow, Monday, um, to get tested again if this antibody test doesn't say what we want it to say or doesn't, you know what I mean, like, doesn't tell us the info that we need to know about whether we actively have it. Um, but I may cancel that. So, and mom's first oncologist appointment was supposed to be Monday, but she can't go now. She's going to call and see if we can do a Zoom, um, because I was supposed to go with her. So, I don't know. So, it's been a week. I mean, 2020 has not hit us hard and it decided, oh crap, I'm almost over. So, let's dump everything on them in one week. That's basically what it did. So, okay. I have... Um, I will probably do story time, but it'll be in the second half because this will probably be filmed in two separate things. So you won't know that though, because I will blend them together. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start with, um, since my whips are downstairs, it'll be in, later on in the video. Um, and then I'll do, um, let's just do haul first. Sorry, I'm a little scattered. Um, but other than that, we're doing great. <laughs> um, I am part of the Just Another Button Company Button Club. And so you get this little, and look at the little gingerbread man and the little heart. And this is called Merry Tidings. Um, so it's the Button Lovers Club. It's so cute. So it's just full of, um, comes in this great tin. I'll dip, dump it everywhere, but... So it comes with some really cool of their clay buttons, Christmas tree, and it comes with just, you know, really cool, wrong side, red and green buttons in here. And apparently we can spell something because there's a Y. Oh, and there's a little, 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 oh, little baby peppermint. And then y'all saw the gingerbread man. So, I like it. I mean, who doesn't need buttons, right? I love buttons. Um, and I also got my um, Stitch Toolbox. I think this is December's. I don't think this is the, um, the mystery thing, but I could be wrong. So, um... If you've ordered anything from Stitch Toolbox, um, I'll show this later, but they're spoiler alert, and I will say it again before I show it. Okay, that being said. All right, you guys, some haul. So, Modern Folk Embroidery, he put out his 2021 Stitch Along. And, of course, you can see the whole thing. It's not a mystery. Um, and then each piece comes out, and I had to get it. Look at this. It is so beautiful, so beautiful. So I'm gonna do it in silks, I believe. And I picked out the color slate and charcoal. Of course they're in there, um, but when we get closer, I'll, I'll show that. I'll show you guys all that. And then the Witchy Stitcher, she had a free pattern on her website. So if you go to her website, you can still get this. And it's so cute and it's 2020. This is Boo Sheet. So cute and agreed. And it's got the little, little COVID mo molecule up there. So molecule, is that right? Or just the little way the little virus looks. But it's free. And she's got a bunch of free different stuff. So while you're up there, you could also get welcome campers. <laughs> um, it's great. And then 
This is on, it's an Etsy shop called Villains Designs. And um, I'll try to remember to put it in the show notes, but it's the Beetlejuice Sal. And this is the first part. This is the skeleton house. That's the picture, oops, the picture of it. And then um, room one will be December 21st. Then it looks like January 4th, 18th. So it's like twice a month. So every two weeks. And it finishes up April 26th. Now we know that I can't, I don't stay caught up on sales. But I wanted it because this is amazing. <laughs> so, and I, I love me some Beetlejuice. So I think that is all for my haul except for the stitch toolbox. Um, that's a very small haul for me, is it not? Oh, today we are brought to you by milk. <laughs> we have no sodas in the house, so I'm drinking milk. <laughs> All right, so I got the um, shop stuff now, moving right along, because I gotta be ready to leave the house in an hour. So I may not even get through all of this on this one, but again, you won't know. I don't know why I keep telling y'all that. Okay. So this is from just another button company and it's their Jabco, the snowman um, pin cushion, which is funny because I thought it was Jacob and I wasn't paying attention that it's their initials, <laughs> their acronym. But is he not so cute? And then he comes with Let's see, the pins, the pins, and all the buttons. But, I mean, so cute. So cute. All right, and then we got Snow Friend Slider, and it's a little bitty pin cushion by just another button company. And then it's got the pins and the buttons. I think they're over here somewhere hiding. Got the buttons in there and there's a, the carrot nose because that's a button. Sorry, I'm bending down. I need a better place to like have that up higher. Sorry, my hair's well. I had to take a shower and I did not, I just let it dry naturally. Um, I was starting to get ripe <laughs> with all this going on. Chad's like, I said, I gotta take a shower this morning. He's like, really? And I was like, yeah, when you don't remember when you took a shower, you should take one. Just saying. Um, cause it's been a, like a hell of a last few days. <laughs> um, all right. This is Plum Street Samplers. This is Sweather Weather. And it's got a little wiener dogs and their little sweaters. It's so stinking cute. <laughs> It's so cute. I know there's lots of glare. Sorry. Is that a little bit better? <laughs> so cute. Um, and I didn't even take pictures first. I gotta come home and take pictures. We're doing everything backwards. So today, get, who knows what's gonna happen. All right, Plum Street Samplers. This is George Decorates for Martha. And this is not new. See, they trick me when I go on my distributor's page and they put everything out on Thursday. It's supposed to be Friday's update, but they put it out late Thursday. So I go hunting on Thursday night. And um, they have this as new, but I guess it's just new to the shop. Because it ain't new. It's from 2019. But, I mean, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to, there we go. All right, another Plum Street sampler. It's called Falling. Same thing happened with this one. I thought it was new. Now, I couldn't figure out why would it, they put Autumn out so late. <laughs> it's from 2018. But um, it's a little, little pilgrim, du pilgrim dude and a pilgrim girl underneath the tree on their horsies. All right, now this one is new and it's Raccoon Rabble. 
How cute are they? I love raccoons. They're so cute. Love it. So it's part of their trio um, series. They have with all the different animals. All right, this is also Plum Street Sampler, and it's ugly sweater weather. How cute are they? I was trying to figure out if um, I mean those look like wiener dogs again, right? They're just standing up. All right, and then this one's Plum Street Samplers. Rest a while. And it's the fox. This is also 2020. So cute. How many times can I say so cute today? <sighs> and this is the Christmas Dreams Part 5. The mystery cell that the Tiny Modernist did. This is the last part. It's complete now. And this is Tiny Modernist. It's Mouse Christmas decorating. And it's like a teeny tiny. And it's cute. And I don't know. I thought. I don't think it says the year. So I have no idea. Oh, just kidding. It's 2020. Oh, so it's new. <laughs> How cute is that? And it looks like a really small, quick stitch. And then Tiny and Modernist, their December uh, Biscornu is a narwhal. I love the narwhal. He's got a Santa hat. And then he's got a wreath. It's too cute. Too cute. Of course, all these, I've done my listings. I just have to take my photos. Oh, my husband started cutting up all that um, fabric flare last Sunday and got through a lot of it. And then he was going to, oh, sorry, golly. I'm boring myself. He was going to um, <clears throat> finish some more this week. Well, so I don't know if I'll. Hopefully I can get it in soon. <laughs> um, okay, so this is just another button company. This is the wood. I showed some of these, but I didn't have this one. This is the Woodland Fox. It's from their Woodland Whimsy series. And so what I did find out, there's no tree. So this pattern on the back, this, there is a panel that you can stitch on, I think it's more like the needlepoint panel or canvas. It's because it's like 50 some dollars for the, the, the main tree part. Um, I, so these are just gonna be, they're just, I'm not getting that in because that's, doesn't sound like it's, it sounded more like it was needlepoint than cross stitch. I was very confused, but um, so these will just be a little small. -y you know, unless you want to create the, um, the tree. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and then there's the possum again, which they misspelled, but it's fine. So cute. He's so cute upside down. Who needs, everybody needs an upside down reading possum. Just saying. Everyone. And there's the owl. And they're cute. Like, you don't need the rest of the tree. They're cute. I mean, you wouldn't even know that there's a rest of the tree had it not shown you the back. Right? There's the hedgehog. He is knitting him some mittens. Oops. I don't know where Isis is. I guess she decided not to show her butt today. Um, here's the mouse. He's just swinging in a birdcage. <laughs> And all these have like the buttons and any other little accessories. Um, it's on the chart. So, and 
And this one's the Woodland Rabbit. So cute. All right. So now we have all the animals that are part of the series. We just don't have the middle tree. So it's fine. All right. So this is some more, um, just another button company. It was when they did it with hands-on design. And this is a bumble bit. And I can't show you the back, but it does come with the buttons. Um, can't show you the back because it's the pattern. <laughs> so. Same for this one. This one's Bumble Bouquet. And it also comes with beads. Beads. I keep saying beads. Buttons. Did I say beads earlier? It's buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. So these are small stitches. Um, and what they are, most of these are because they're squareology. So you have a very small part of the, it just shows like this part right here for the pattern. And then you stitch it again and again and again. So then it makes that. Hope it didn't show those. And then we have another squareology, um, which is the Mary Berry. It comes with that big Mary button. That's so cute. And it's got a few red buttons too. They go as like the berries, I guess. All right. That is, oh, no, nope, not quite yet. Um, and then I showed the girls' night out, and it was the witches on those motorcycles, and I think that Mama Loves You GB is doing that. Uh, she did that one, showed it one time, and then this is their the counterpart, which are the boys are back in town. And you can tell their faces, they're all buttons, the faces and the pumpkin Oh, I can show you the back. I can show you the... So those are all the buttons that come with it. There's an owl and a bat. Too cute. What's that purple thing? Oh, they're just... Just buttons. So... <laughs> it's too cute. Why isn't it focusing? There you go. I know it's Halloween, but... It don't matter. It don't matter. Um, and then I got, this is by Kathy Barrick. It's her new one, or one of her new ones. It's Eight Tiny Reindeer. So, and then, plus one more. It's Rudolph. <laughs> which I'll have to, which shows on the back, so I'll have to put a sticky note on it <laughs> when I go to, to photograph the back of it. But that's okay. All right. Box one down. Now to box two. Oh, me, oh, me. Just trying to pull out a chunk. I, yeah, I overdid myself. Um, I have a bunch of needle minders. And I still haven't done anything on my glow forge. I just, I have to, like, take off time from work in the shop. I have to close the shop, take off time from work, just to be able to, like, figure this out. But... All right, so these are all that I'm gonna go through here because I don't wanna have to say the Little Stitcher 15 times. They're all by the Little Stitcher and these are all ones that I had ordered way back. Um, they just weren't Christmas, so they kind of took the back burner. And I didn't think I was gonna have any patterns come in, so I was getting all these in and then that's when um, all of a sudden I was not expecting my, my uh, distributor to send a package Friday and Saturday. So then I was like, well, that answers that. Now I do have patterns put in. So now it's like I've got a ton of stuff. I think I have 73 items coming to the shop. If I don't get the fabric flare listed today, it, it's still 73. Whew. It's a lot. And that's Sleeping Beauty. I just love 
And then I had another Italian designer. She must have heard that I was into the Italians. She reached out to me and said that, you know, she loved my shop and she has an Etsy shop and um, wanted to know if I would be, uh, wanted to take a look at her shop and if I would be interested in carrying any of her printed patterns. And I looked and she's got some really cute ones. So I am working on, um, y'all, I'm getting this cut off, by the way. Don't freak out. I don't need 52 messages saying, no, y'all. Oh, it's so much. It's uh, next Sunday. I will have already done my, my floss tube, though. Sorry. Okay, now I'm just playing with my hair. Stop it. Okay, I'm done. Um. Anyway, so yeah, she has some really cute ones, and um, I'm totally going to get some of her patterns in the ones that she has are i will they'll be christmas and they probably won't get here till january but we don't care right we, we buy we buy stuff at all times of the year right right this is girl in, which is why these are most of these are like creepy that i've got for the little stitcher but i don't care it's fine the girl in blue and then this is the one where um the ghost story where she was killed by the train I could I tried to like Google stuff because I couldn't decide whether I wanted to put her in Halloween or whether she should go in like historical and literary, but I really couldn't find the story. So I was like, well, okay, maybe she's just ghost tale versus like real life, whatever. So it went into Halloween. <laughs> Sometimes the struggle's real to decide. Um, this one's little bluebird. So cute. Like I said, I'm, I didn't think I was into birds, but she's brought the birds out of me. The little brown bird. Oh, I love it with all the pink accents on that. It's sitting on a cherry blossom. I love it. Love it. Um, the three spinners. I just love her style. I don't. You know, when something just, everything I see, I'm just like, I, I, and I can't tell you why, because I don't know. The Three Pumpkin Ladies, which I'm low stock this because I had a couple people buy it before it was listed. Victorian Witch. <laughs> I love it. School for Little Witches. They're so cute. Love the little spiders. So like I said, some of these are not seasonal, but or in the correct season. Dracula. He's under literary and historical because, you know. <laughs> and he's not under Halloween. I wish you could put them in like two. I hate that you have you you are limited to your um, how many categories you can have, which I get it. You know you don't want people looking at too many categories. I think I'm using all twenty, which is a lot. Um, but I hate that you can't put a pattern in like two different categories because there are sometimes things that are historical, like my JFK pattern that I have. Um, and then at the same time, it's patriotic. So, but whatever. Um, happy Christmas. This is the one I gave away. Well, this isn't the one, but you know what I mean? This pattern is the one that was one of my, um, giveaways and so cute. So I ordered some to, um, cause she'd only had that one. So I ordered some so that you guys could buy them um, and this is one of her new ones from 2020 it's robins and snow how cute are those bird houses uh, and a little bird bath oh so cute um so this is her new designs um that's i think she had three new designs so that's the first new design and then i'll be home for christmas is the next new design it's a great house. Love it with the birdhouse on one side and the lamppost on the other. And then this one 
is the one I was like so glad that I she held my order until her um, new releases came out. <laughs> this one is The Christmas Carol, The Three Spirits. Oh my gosh, can you even? It's so, I, I just, I don't know if it's the simplicity of having like a heading at the top, the picture in the middle, and then words at the bottom and how it's all like boxed in. Like, I don't know. I don't know if, if that's what's so pleasing to the eye for me is that they're just, um, I don't know. It's like they're the uniformity. And you'll see what I mean. Cause like all of hers are kind of like that. Um, here's Moby Dick. See how it's like you got the title, you got the picture, and then you got another wording at the bottom. So it just, I don't know. I wonder if that's what it is. Oh, shoot. No, don't fall. Sorry. Situation. Situation happening. Okay. Snow White and Rose Red. But everything's kind of like boxed out. I don't know. Little Women. Of course, some of these I had shown already a while back when I did the, the giant <laughs> haul from her. The Wizard of Oz. Love it. And I like how the most of her human people, um, like in these type of ones, like they don't have faces. <laughs> and some of them have faces because look at Sleeping Beauty. She's got faces. Emily Dickinson has faces. Has a face, not faces, but Emily Dickinson. And this is part of her uh, literary women series. So they're obviously in literary. Hi, Ski. What are you doing? What happened? This one's Jane Austen. What you doing, buddy? Something get you? Uh-oh. You all right? What happened? Come here. You okay? Something bite your booty? Come here, buddy. I'll scratch your bottom. Come here. What were you trying to get? <laughs> He's like all like <laughs> freaking out and then like licking his backside like somewhere or something bit him. He's like freaking out over his tail right now. Legit. Buddy, you okay? Oh, something got him. You can see now acting like it was tails the enemy. Mary Shelley. Buddy, you all right? The Bronte sisters. Oh, such a good house. All right, so that's all the little stitchers they have. So this is um, Manny D. Donna. I don't know. But it's Mrs. Claus Goodies Sewing Set. And it comes with the little thing, so that little teeny tiny cross stitch, you got something to put it in with the little embellishments to make your little scissor fob. So cute. And this is Lindy Stitches. This is the Mistletoe Loitering Society. How cute are they? They're all just hanging out like a bunch of creeps <laughs> under the mistletoe, hoping that someone will come. I'm just curious of who brought the goldfish there. But he's there. He's waiting. 
It's so cute. And I've seen a lot of people stitch in this next one. Uh, it's also Lindy Stitches and it's Cats Love Christmas. And you get three patterns. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> Accident free, zero days. And he's walking off like, I don't give zeros. I love it. Love it. You gonna make it, buddy? Oh, he done left. Um, this is another, um, I don't know if it's Monty, Manny, Dodonna. And this is the Tis the Season pillow. Tis the season to believe. Oh, I need to be checking my time. 9.19, okay. Um, and this is the a banner year. It's hands-on design. It's so much fun. It's really cute. And all the mittens are different. I don't know how my... Mana de Donny, Donna got all mixed in here. Could have just showed them all at the same time. But this is December 25th pillow. It's cute with the sheep. What are you doing? You're banging. Um, this is uh, With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. It's When Santa's Away. It's When Santa's Away. How cute is that? I think he's playing in the shower curtain. So, she's got fuzzy stuff. Just so y'all know. I'm trying to see. Oh, so it's just a scrap of 100, oh, thank God. A scrap of 100% natural cotton batting is what she uses for that boot trim. <laughs> I freaked out for a second and thought that was going to be Whisper or something. I thought, who can stitch that much? But just kidding. It's batting. And then this one is Annie B's Folk Art and it's First Snow. And this doesn't have a date on it. It was new to my distributor. I have no idea if it's new. Because she didn't have a date. Yeah, he's playing in the... In the shower curtain. I mean, it's that kid in life. He's doing really good. Arlo's being friends with him again. Uh, it was a little rough when he came back. When he came back, and I could tell he had his feelings like really hurt because nobody would play with him. It was kind of sad. He was getting left out. Um, but. And finally, we have Let's Talk Winner, Hands on Design. I was stalking. I gotta just, I gotta reach out to her and just get her stuff directly because, man, it felt like it took forever for them to get this in the distributor. Um, yeah, I can't be waiting that long. When somebody, people ask for things, I want to get them in as quick as possible. And... Um, this is Stony Creek's new one. It's called Noel Noel. It's pretty. And if you're not into, um, I mean, it's the song, Born as the King of Israel, but I feel like you could leave that out if you wanted to and shift it down um, or leave it in. I mean, it's pretty. It's whatever floats your boat. He's just having a blast in there. All right, so these I have had for a while. Again, I didn't think I had any patterns coming. <laughs> I didn't think my distributor was gonna be that fast with getting them to me. And so I had worked um, to distract myself. I had put in a bunch of listings of stuff I have just sitting around waiting. So, um, oh, is that my hair bump? Or is that just because there's the lamp behind me? That looks funny, I don't know. Anywho, um, this is Teresa Kogut. This is Pet All the Dogs. And I know that she has um, a chart in here to where um, you have the option to change it to uh, hug all the cats. Which 
which is what I would do. Not that I would pet all the dogs too, but I love me some Jasper, but heart, I'm, I'm a cat person. They're easier. You don't have to scream at them 52 times at night to get back in the bed when they got out. <sighs> yeah. Um, this is another one of Teresa's samplers. It's Heaven and Nature. And why I didn't get this in earlier. It's because it's in the bottom of a pile and I didn't realize I had it. Because it's definitely Christmas. <laughs> and it's the 2020 one. <laughs> I think this may have come out in Nashville. Um, market early 2020. Um, this is another one of her samplers, Land That I Love. So it's a patriotic one. It's also 2020. Again, I think it came out for market. And then this one is Celebrates, 15 years of needlework. Um, it has a bunch of, um, she also did this one for market. She's got a bunch of different, um, patterns in here and some really, really cute ones. So, and I can't show you because there's no pictures. They are literally just charts. Um, but you got some Santa and a tis the season and there's a snowman and there's a Merry Christmas and a Scarecrow and Bad Kitty, which is a witch and a cat. And then there's a, looks like a puppy dog and like a tree with some animals and a quote about giving and some farm fresh eggs and some blue ribbon, which has got some farm animals. Um, and then a, something about long winters and then a little teeny garden one and a bunny one and a sheep one with the house which is that one that's the sheep one with the house and that's the tiny garden one so they're really cute okay oh. I mean I got time to go ahead and do the needle minders yeah well, let's do this first. So I'm going, so we're going to do two, two a week of these great things by Sheila. These little notion bags. They're just, I mean, they're adorable. Look at the little, they're little deer. You can't tell. There's a little deer on them. And this one's got Christmas trees. Let's see if you can see the deer. No, well, sort of. Anyways, so they're great little notion bags. And, um, yeah. And so you know the rules. You can't say giveaway or free. Um, you have to be over 18 to win um, because I have to legally be able to get your address. Um... And I will ship anywhere. Um, so, that being said, let's um, let's have a the word is going to be Christmas. But tell me, hi, hi, you want to come say hi, come here, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, um, say hi, Ski, I got a boogie face, I got the boogie face, um, don't drink my milk, Ser seriously, no, okay, I'm a milk, um, the word's going to be Christmas, but what I'd like to hear is what's your favorite thing about this time of year? Um, even if, well, I guess I shouldn't use Christmas because not everybody celebrates Christmas. Let's just say um, season. 
sorry didn't mean to change it so if anybody just paused pause that and stopped watching sorry <laughs> uh, let's do season and then just tell me what your favorite part of this season is um and then i mean you don't have to you could just he's chewing on a ribbon um you can just say season but um just curious on what everybody's favorite part of the season is and um there will be a chance for two people <laughs> yep to win these notion bags so and i love them i love mine um and then we'll have we'll be giving away two more each week through december so these are the two they are the sorry i have to be careful with that glass of milk <laughs> So the ones that's got the writing, it says joy, love, memory, peace. I say memory, Mary. And then the insides um, is the poinsettia with the white background. And the tags on the end match the inside. And they both have some really cool pulls on them. So we thank Miss Sheila for these. And um, yeah, so season. And we'll do that giveaway. And then um, let me go ahead and show my needle minders. And I don't know how I'm gonna be able to like get these off of here. Let me back up, back up, boop, boop, boop. Oops. So that I'm, here we go. So I can put this in my lap. Um, these, I just bought the, the brooches and then put the magnets on them to make them needle minders. Um, these are not made with my glow forge, but these are kind of like what I'm wanting to do. I just don't know how to do the color part. I'm learning. Hey. <laughs> Can't, uh uh. Did you just break my ribbon? No, sir. Sneak peek. <laughs> it's part of Stitch Toolbox. Buddy. No, okay. Let's not. Oh, we don't want to show anybody your butt. Can you lay down? Can you lay down for mama? Oh my god. Seriously, dude? Okay. Everybody, I say bye to the baby. I say bye to the baby. No, you can't get up there. Now he's going to go be bad. Because that's what he does. Okay. <laughs> um, You don't have front claws anymore. Not sure what your plan was. <laughs> Not sure what your plan was. Mommy has a limited amount of time that she can film this. I don't know. Quit. You cannot, seriously, what are we doing right now? No, this is my milk. Guys, sorry. The struggle is real with this one. There's nothing up here. So... You cannot have milk. <laughs> Showboat. So that's one of the needle minders. <laughs> it's the plague doctor. You know, you haven't shown your ass in so long, and now here you are. And then we have the ghost. Dude, you're killing me right now. And then we have a black cat. And then we have a black and white cat. Oh my, Skeeter, no, it's my milk. <laughs> this was not, this was not the thing to do. Did I show the black cat? <laughs> Here, fine, drink my milk. There's the black cat. See? You don't even like it anyways. Maybe you do. Are you going to get... Stop. You're going to get stuff everywhere. And there's the owl. <coughs> I 
<clears throat> Excuse me. And there's the frog. I now understand when I never understood why people just give in to their children. I get it. There's the fox. I now get it. I now get it. And that's going to upset your tummy. And you've ruined a whole glass of milk for mommy because mommy ain't drinking it now. There is the um, Hamsa. Hamsa. Oh, that's Plague Doctor. Uh, uh. Sorry. Making old people noises. Nah, don't put your paw in there. There's the kitty with the yarn. Mm -mm. Figure it out, man. There's the little tan kitty. This little patch eye. Uh -uh -uh. No, uh -uh. no. Here. Okay, we don't have to pause for a second. Okay, sorry. Um, I had to put it in a, another dish. He couldn't get his face in far enough, so he kept trying to stick his paw. So now I have milk prints everywhere uh where was i at so and then we got a blue whale how cool is he sorry i have one oh oh boy Wrong side. Wrong side. I'm new with this. <laughs> I had ordered cards that were like little square cards to put the needle miners on. Um, and they haven't come yet. Oh, that's more frog. Oh, get the frog, frog, frog. There we go. Here's a calico cat. Did you drink that already? It's already up my butt. It's a little bunny. And then we got a squirrel. Hi. What you doing? Besides being a crazy kitty. Then we have a creepy enchanted rose. Then we got the palmistry. <laughs> Do you see his little ball? His little paw's like, help! And then we got the poison bottle. What you doing? Oh God, he's gonna come the long way. He's not a dummy. Or maybe he got distracted by the window. So I take that back. <laughs> Easily distracted. Not a dummy. Butterfly. And a big old skull head. Let's jump on my cricket. Send everything reeling. Oh, and we got a zombie hand coming about the dirt and then we got a cute gray tabby ain't you cute dude you got some hips on you you sitting there looking at me you got some hips and we got a little pink tabby hey get out of them starburst I remember when he wasn't up here and it was calm and quiet. That's not true because the nicest went bananas. Quit! <laughs> and you got a little tan cat laying down. 
And you got a little black cat stretching. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. So, I mean, it's not all of them. It's all the ones I got glue and stuff on to like magnets that are going in my shop. <sighs> He's playing with the starburst. Um, yep. So I'm about to, this will be, um, spoiler alert. If you've ordered anything from Stitch Toolbox, look away. I won't say things, but look away and I'll tell you when you can look back. Um, cause this is, I think this is the December bag mystery bag and she said we could we just had to put there was a spoiler alert so i'm gonna say it again spoiler alert do not look up if you got the stitch toolbox december mystery project bag and you do not want your surprise ruined do not look up there it is i love it of course now i have less ribbon but it's fine and what still don't look and what comes in it and of course that's the inside and here's what comes with it super excited all right y'all can look I don't know why I feel like I gotta whisper and then scream but <laughs> you guys can look I put it away um so into the spoiler alert you can look now I mean if you want to you don't have to look up from your stitching I'm not doing anything but watching a cat about to try to think he's gonna jump over here from the on top of the glow forge um all right so I'm gonna get my whips and we'll come back with whips and story time when um when I'm done with my appointment and stuff so sorry he let me just show y'all what he thinks he's gonna do he thinks he's gonna jump oh is he gonna do it <laughs> no no you're not gonna do it Chickened out. Chickened out. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. And I thought I was going to have story time and everything, but they, my mom got a call that they may be releasing my dad from the hospital, which is crazy because. Doesn't have enough strength to walk, so I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, tangle. So, I may have to go get my dad from Nashville here in a little bit. So, I'm just going to show my, um, my work in progress, my whip, and then, um, hopefully get some wow. pictures taken to get some of the stuff in the shop up. I mean, I hope they don't release them, but... I mean, most people don't say that about the hospital. They want people released, but you know. Um, so, it's this guy, Sir Thomas, and he is hashtag big beautiful bird Sal. And with the crazy week that I have had, I did not get much stitching done. Um, which I needed. <laughs> but, so, I've already showed this bit on Instagram. So that's how much I got done. And technically it's this way. Good Lord. Just confused the crap out of myself. So that is right. And I don't know if you can tell. Let me fold this back. No, you can't really see the sparkle, but the yellow 
And I have another yellow that goes in the holes, but it's the it sparkles. Uh, you can't see it, but I mean, you definitely can see it in person that you've got the sparkle. So that's as far as I've gotten on that. And I didn't get to work on anything else. So like I said, this week was insane. Plans just went to the wayside, which happens. It's fine. Um, so me and my husband's antibody test came back negative. So we don't, haven't had it, COVID at least. Um, we were worried that maybe we had it and didn't know it and that our negative test is because we were already past the whatever window. Um, so, but no, no antibodies. So we, neither one of us have had COVID. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. It's kind of a crazy, crazy week and situation. So, um, sorry I didn't have story time again. Um, but I'm sure I know you guys understand, but, um, I still hate it because it's supposed to be Lizzie Borden. And, um, I did see where the primitive hair posted on Instagram about Krampus and I'm totally going to do Krampus. Um, but I'm going to do, I'll do him closer. It's supposed to be December 5th is when he comes about. Hi buddy. Um, so this would have been the perfect, perfect weekend to do it, but you know, it is what it is. So, but, um, I hope you guys all have a great week and I hope, uh, my week gets better. <laughs> so, um, I will see you guys next week. Until then, have a wonderful stitchy week. Thanks. Bye.